board your windows and don your garlic as shadow stalks the night. Waking from a 600 year long nap, the immortal creature Eliza has returned to feast on the blood of the powerful. She needs worthy opponents for her dark magic to be fully restored. Hopefully she can stay awake for long enough to find them. Unrelenting night. Eliza. Eliza is a slippery spacing specialist who darts around the stage like a bat in the evening sky. You'll have to get near her if you want to win, but attempting to do so is dangerous. Eliza will invite you to hunt her, only to keep you out with a mix of projectiles, long-range counter hits, and evasive aerial attacks. Using these, she gradually herds her opponent towards the dark corners, then suddenly jumps in for the kill. But enough talk. Have at you. Let the darkness consume us. Eliza can manipulate her opponent's movements at a range with her dark wave. As they try to navigate around the projectiles and get closer, she searches for openings with her other long-range tools. Bloody Claw is a safe mid that will knock the opponent down. Remember to hold back to prevent Eliza from falling asleep. Helical Flow is a homing launcher used specifically for catching opponents trying to sidewalk fireballs. Both of these options can have the range extended, by performing them out of Eliza's only stance, Moonglide. Helical Flow does not jail and can potentially be ducked on reaction. To mitigate the risk, Eliza players should mix in the alternate extension Helical End. This turns the second hit into a powerful mid. While it usually doesn't lead to a combo like the high version, a recent buff has made it so you can now connect a guaranteed meteor burst after a deep hit. It is still possible to convert into a full combo using EX Dark Tempest in the same situation. If an opponent is foolish enough to run in with a blind attack, Rising Chaos is a fast, tracking counter hit launcher that can interrupt them and lead to massive damage. Alternatively, Elisa can armor through strong running moves with Broken Dream and connect a guaranteed Queen Needle on hit. While it requires more execution than your average block punishment, Elisa has some of the most damaging options in the game. Her jab cancels into a natural combo with Dark Blade. Binary Star, which is 14 frames to impact, and her down jab can also perform this natural cancel. When Elisa has access to two bars of her blood meter, these three options can be turned into full combos using her super move, Bloody Horn. On the rare occasion when this is pulled off, they go from good to absolutely godly. You do have access to more conventional block punishers, which require no execution, but these are intentionally made weaker in order to reward effort. Elisa's combos do below average damage, but do have exceptional wall carry. Because of this, you want to prioritize positioning over damage when launching the opponent. The go-to combo enders for wall carry are Helical End and Helical Flow. The former sends the opponent higher, but the latter recovers faster, so alternate depending on range. Cancelling Sweeping Scarlet into Dark Blade after a spin move is another fantastic option for wall conversions. Multiple dash jabs and the EX version of the Moonglide stance can be used to create extra chunks of wall carry in combos. Try to estimate the remaining distance of the wall as your combo progresses and convert the length accordingly. Recent buffs have made Elisa's stance, Moonglide, better at creating intimidating mix-ups. The main change is to the low option, which now leads to guaranteed follow-ups. Without meter, Dark Tempest or Instant Heavy Dark Cannon are the preferred options, but with meter, an Instant EX Dark Cannon turns the low into a full launcher. Fearing this low, players are now more likely to duck when reacting to the stance, meaning that the mid option, Bloody Claw, is more likely to connect. Because this is the safest move out of the stance, you are now able to be more dangerous while putting yourself in less danger. The EX version of Moonglide is even more powerful. Your Bloody Claw transforms into a wall bounce move, and your unblockable Death Impact has its impact speed dramatically reduced. EX Moonglide can be cancelled into after your special cancelable moves, but also after fireballs. Uniquely, EX Fireball will go into an EX Moonglide automatically without spending any extra meter, 
giving you two EX moves for the price of one. Jumping in with Dazzling Wave is an easy way of accessing this efficient package from a range. When our opponent has been forced to the wall, Elisa turns from an elusive and patient fighter into a rabid animal. Her unique strength in this position derives from her instant Dark Cannon and Sweeping Scarlet, an unseeable low. These options are vulnerable to back dashing in the open, but when the wall prevents this, they create one of the most oppressive mix-ups in the game. Spending one bar of Blood Meter, Sweeping Scarlet cancels naturally into the EX version of Dark Tempest. This creates something extremely rare and powerful in Tekken, a low that is too fast to react to, but causes a wall splat. The instant Dark Cannon is a fast mid that leads to frame advantage on both hit and block. When used together, they leave the opponent with very few chances of escape. Mix-ups from Moonglide are also empowered by the wall as the low option, Queen Needle, can be converted into a full wall splat with a sweeping Scarlet, cancelled into a light dark blade. Add Astral Shot, a safe mid wall bounce move that goes over lows to the toolkit, and it's easy to see why Elisa loves to have her enemy sandwiched between herself and the wall. A down jab is a versatile and useful move for most characters. Elisa's rises to another level with the ability to cancel into all of her specials. Only Dark Blade, EX Dark Blade, and EX Dark Tempest are natural, but canceling into Dark Cannon provides a sneaky way to escape from and create pressure. Dark Cannon becomes natural if the down jab counter hits at a close range, which leads to a massive amount of frame advantage. It's important to remember that down jabs are special mids and thus susceptible to low parries. Mixing them with conventional fast mids such as Daylight and Fishhook is a useful way of preventing parries from happening too often. In addition to normal backdashing, Elisa can utilize her jump to create space and make the opponent whiff. When Elisa is in the air, the startup animations of her dark cannons are greatly reduced, making them very fast. Dark Cannon comes in three flavors. The light version has short range but leads to frame advantage on hidden block. The heavy version is slower but longer, unsafe on block and launches the opponent on counter hit. The EX version requires meter, but it's a normal hit launcher and safe on block. Jumping backwards and watching closely, you can use these moves to hunt your opponent from the sky like a bird of prey. They even hit opponents who choose to stay on the ground. It may seem like a cheap thing to rely on, but the fact that Elisa is rarely used and mechanically unique means that very few players know how to play against her. Even players with extensive experience will struggle to navigate through her keepout and escape rapid dark cannon pressure. As an Elisa user, it is important to gauge your opponent's ability to keep up with her strangeness and adapt your playstyle accordingly. <laughs> Elisa only has access to a grand total of four loads. Queen Needle is locked inside of a stance, while Shadow Ring is very slow, but does have a deceptive animation. All of them are launch punishable on block, meaning that attempting mix-ups with Elisa is generally quite risky. Sweeping Scarlet is the fastest and has massive damage potential since it can cancel naturally into Heavy Dark Blade, EX Dark Blade, and EX Dark Tempest. However, this requires a clean hit, which can be difficult to get because of the move's limited range. Against an opponent who uses a lot of backdashing, the clean hit will often whiff, resulting in a massive punish of the subsequent special move. This is generally considered to be the biggest weakness of the character, and something that must be dealt with creatively by Elisa players. It's also why she can struggle on a stage with no walls, where there is infinite space for backdashing. <laughs> With the exception of certain block punishers, Elisa deals low damage overall. In a metagame where many characters easily deal over 70 damage with a combo, she's more likely to deal somewhere around 60, though this weakness is somewhat mitigated by the aforementioned strong wall character. Some of Elisa's best moves can be very difficult to apply. She's a character that demands time spent in practice mode, it's recommended for a new player to focus on a small collection of moves to begin with, adding more advanced elements gradually. The good news is that this is highly doable, as the basic kit and combos are relatively forgiving. 
Important execution to work on includes cancelling Sweeping Scarlet into Dark Blade after a Dark Cannon, chaining multiple instant Dark Cannons together, and Dash Jab. Elisa's most reliable wall combo can also be challenging to perform at first, but should be practiced until consistent. Elisa is not designed for brawling at close range. With the exception of Light Dark Cannon, most of her tools have weaker frame data and range than their analogs on other characters. Elisa has been given enough that she can hold her own for a time, but unless the wall is nearby, it's probably best to sneak back out to your preferred range. If the opponent likes to sidestep a lot while poking, Horizon Ring is a low with excellent tracking that combos on counter hit and is available from both standing and full crouch. Pivoting around down jabs is also an effective way of escaping pressure and mitigating your otherwise lackluster pokes. Use it more often than you would a conventional down jab. It's a minor problem, but as a 2D style character, Elisa doesn't have access to a rage drum. Furthermore, her rage art suffers from an inconsistent hitbox and should be used very sparingly. As should all rage arts, really, even the good ones. Because of this, making comebacks with Elisa usually involves setting up risky meter burns rather than relying on rage. Elisa is a unique character who switches between two opposing playstyles. In the open, she's a patient, long-range fighter who bullies opponents into making mistakes as they try to approach. At the wall, she excels at aggressive pressure and mix-ups. Mastering both is important to unlocking the character's strength. Her main weakness is a lack of mix-up potential in the open due to short range on her lows. This should be mitigated with deliberate and careful usage. Against an opponent who performs a lot of back dashes, it's usually wiser to let them get bored and come to you than to attempt chasing them down. Patience becomes especially important on infinite stages where the walls can't help limit the enemy's movement. Perfecting all of Elisa's advanced techniques at once can feel overwhelming, and it's recommended to incorporate them gradually. This makes for a user experience that's both frustrating and extremely rewarding. When the stars align though, and everything comes together just the way you intended, hunting with the sleepy vampire is truly an addictive experience. Thank you very much for watching, and a massive shout out to my good friend, Frame Whisperer for writing the script and helping out with the narration. If you haven't already, I highly recommend subscribing to his channel for his erudite, eloquent, and often hilarious rants on Tekken. Also, a shout out to David Westerland for the beautiful orchestral arrangements of classic Castlevania music that was often used throughout this video. Listen to them, children of the night. What music they Check out his concert in the link below, and with enough support, he'll be able to do a tour, which should be a great way to celebrate once we all get out of quarantine. As usual, there's a PDF of the script for your enjoyment, and also a wallpaper based on the thumbnail. And as ever, our immense gratitude to our patrons, without whom the quality on these videos simply would not be possible. Stand by. Up next is Fakumra.